Pleasure. My first of all, I want to welcome you to Mepin Antique Auction Gallery. Pre-COVID, we had auctions here every week for 30 years. We hope to resume our regular schedule this fall. The Carolina Country Store Sale. We've had that for 29 years straight. It's a major event. It's a three-day event. And that's going to take place this fall. We are really ladies and lot number one, the Titian, the adoration of the Maji right here out of the Fayetteville collection. I have a $3,000 open bid online, now $3,100. Yep. 52. 5200 Sold about $6,900, number 217. Lot number two is the wedding feast at Cana, when Christ turned water into wine. Out of all the paintings, that one has the most provenance, and it's in incredible condition. It in it's been condition. restored, it's ready to go. I have 1850, now 1900. 47, yep. 48, 51, 52. Sold about $6,400, $6, number one to buy, number one. 22. 22 here. 22 online, also got $200, better, 2250. 23, last call, wheel 23. Sold about $2,600. Buyer number is number one to buy, buyer number one. I started looking at these and trying to learn how to make one when I was 10 years old. You can always pick out an Alamance County dirt dish compared to any other thing made in the United States. Jim, lot number 45, we have 2,450 opening, 26. 3,000, thank you, Brian. 57, you can make money every day. You cannot make these dirt dishes anymore. You tell him John has said it was a great one. Sold about seven thousand dollars by letter number five. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I've only seen like two or three of these in my life. And I've seen hundreds of dirt dishes. I have a thousand with Brian. Thank you. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight hundred on this important dirt dish. Thirty-eight hundred. Sold about thirty-seven hundred dollars. Number is two two six. Two two six. Are you serious, Brian? Brian's got two thousand on the phone right here. Anybody from twenty six fifty last call? Twenty six fifty. Sold about $2,600, thank you, Brian. 226 the better, thank you. It's a 1640 English Renaissance hanging cupboard here. It is dated 1640. At the lower door, it's got a very unusual handmade lock inside. Five to the five, 20 to the five, 20 to the five, 20 to the five, 25, 1100, 1100, 1100, 1150, 1150, 1150, 1150, 1200, 1950, he's gonna win, Will, 1950. Sold about $2,000, congratulations to the internet bidder, buy number is 55. 1,050, 1,100 wheel, 1,100, 17, 17, 50, 18, 8, 2,100, 2,100, last call, 2,050, now 2,100. Got it. He got it. 2,100 dollars, number 14 to buy, number 14, thank you. The old master, 15th century, depicting Jesus carrying a lamb. It's also dated on the back end, Chris. It's carved in the back, 1460. Lot number 65, oh, we have 925, and now 950. 1550, 1550, 1550. Sold about 1950, bottom is 55. This could be a sleeper. There's been a lot of calls on this one from Rome and Florence, Italy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on the lot number 68, the old master Italian Renaissance painting here. Opening bid of 2650, now 2700. 36, 37, 37 wheel. Sold about $4,000, bottom is 237. Thank you. This is the first one I've ever seen in person. There's not but about nine of these exist in the United States. Very rare piece. What's the bid? I have 525, now 550. Yep. 22, 23. 23. It is rare, Lizzie. Are they still on the phone? Ask them how many they can find. Sold them out $4,600, number 209. Thank y'all. 253 grams of solid 14 karat gold. It's a great piece here, lot number 81. I have an opening bid of 6,600. And now 67. 71 out in the audience, 72. You gotta be 72. 73 now. 70, I have, you have 72? Yes. Sold them at $8,100 in the audience right over there. Thank you, George. Number 58 to buy. Thank you, 58. The necklace appraised back in 1980 for $92,000. And this is one of the stones from that necklace. This is the lot number 83, the very fine 14 karat white gold, 2.90 karat diamond here, ladies and gentlemen. We have 6,600 now, 67. Any other bidders at 6,700? Got it. 60, you have 69, 800. Sold about $6,800 to the internet, number 55. I have 1850 now, 1900. 2050, 2050, 2050, last call. Sold about $2,000, number 248, thank you, Kurt. It is confirmed, 17th century, Nuremberg, Germany. It has a nautical theme to it. It's got two mermaids on the inside engraved I have 1550 online, 16, 1650, 17, 2650, 27. Sold them out $4,000, number 38. 260 up here, 270. Five and a quarter, five and a half. Seven and a half, seven and a half, 775. 775, 775, seven and a half. 1850, 1900, 1900. 
Sold for $3,300 to bidder number 217. All right, lot 157. Who else to bid at 2,000 to get it started? I have six and a quarter, 650. 50, 11, 100, 11, 50, 11, 50, now 12, 12, 12, 50, 12, 50, 12, 50, 12, 50, 12, 50 13, 27, 50, 27, 50, now 28, 2800, 2800, now 2850. Sold for $3,400, bidder number 55. We have lot number 166, the Lynn Bow Hunt, uh, Hunter Oil Painting. We have 7,600 online. Opening bid now 77, 15, 5, 16,000. Sold him at $21,000 of the gentleman that came to buy it. Number 54 from Alabama. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. His father probably commissioned this painting right before he left off for the war. His uniform is consistent with his standing in the New York militia. We have 3,300 online, correct? Ask for 3,400. 35, 36. Sold about $4,600 in the, in the house, number 201, the buyer, 201. He bought it brand new in 1957. He drove it till 1963. He parked it in the warehouse, and that's where it's been sitting ever since. It's still got the license tags on it. It's got 2,800 miles on it. Okay, what's the bid? The opening bid online, ladies and gentlemen, is 9,400. I've been told by one expert, he said this is the rarest model of the Izetta, this convertible. 13,000, I have 12, five in the audience, and that's for 13. 13, and you put it there. 13,500, 14,000. Sold him at 15,500 right there at number 32. How about a round of applause for that bidder? He's been here all day. He hasn't bid on anything. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.